Hi, welcome back to Restore to Explore. Today, we're going to be painting the Troopy. Alright, so today I've got Ellen's dad, Ross, from Life on the Hulls here helping me out. He's uh, painted quite a bit of Raptor in his time over the past couple of months, so he's offered to share some knowledge. So we're just, um, I sa I've sanded all the inside, we've removed all the screws and things that were in here before, and um, I sanded it yesterday. Ross is just prep wiping now with a bit of metho, and we're gonna roll the inside with some white, white Raptor, uh, and it's just gonna stop all the overspray. Then we'll be able to put the windows in, uh, mask them up, and then we'll be able to spray the whole outside without having to worry about overspray getting on the inside of the glass and the interior and things like that. So, it's so gonna be our first time using the Raptor. We've kind of figured out the ratio so we can mix up smaller batches at a time. So, yeah, we're gonna get cracking, get this all prepped, and uh, yeah, get the rollers out and put some Raptor on. window going back in. I got some flexi seal for windows. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bead on here, get the window in, put the clips on. There we go. everything here. I've got the bull bar sanded, cleaned, that's ready for some black paint as well as this area here on the rear bar. It's easy for me to do this and then if I get overspray on the car it's a smaller area to mask up the bumper when I'm spraying the Raptor on the car. So I'm gonna go ahead spray rear bumper, bull bar, front grill, um, get that out of the way so that that can dry. I can put those pieces away and then yeah hopefully tomorrow we will be ready to Paint the whole car. All right, <laughs> today is the day. It's currently 11 o'clock. I've uh, been out here since about eight. Um, I've got the whole car actually sanded now, so I've sanded everything. Um, got the stickers on this side, because I've put the stickers on, and then I'm gonna cover them with masking tape, um, just because we can't put the stickers over Raptor. Just, I just don't think it will, uh, it'll sit properly. So I've got the stickers on this side. I'm gonna put the stickers on the other side. Just gotta finish prep wiping the fiberglass roof. Um, and yeah, then it's just a bunch more masking. Got to mask everything up, get it all properly masked. Don't want any overspray because that Raptor won't be easy to clean off. Um, but yeah, it's happening today. I cannot wait in hopefully yeah, a few hours. This thing's going to be Raptor white. So good. All right, I'm going to finish prep wiping this and then get stuck in the masking because that could take a couple of hours. <laughs>
done. I'm just gonna let it dry. I don't think I'll need any extra coats on what I've done. I'm gonna let it dry, put it in the shade and get a proper look at it. But that was only four liters. Or five. Uh, four. I actually bought, I bought 12 liters thinking that it was a really big car, including the top. Uh, I bought 12 liters. I've only used four, so you know, there you go. If you've got something this size, that being said, the car was white and I'm spraying it white so you didn't get any of the a dark color bleeding through. So that makes a difference as well. But yeah, four liters. The wind kind of picked up and it was blowing all the sheeting everywhere, which got me a bit worried for a bit there, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. I can't wait to get all this masking off and see how it all looks. up this episode today has been a monster day i'm gonna go have a sit down eat some food it's about four o'clock uh, i am so so pumped with how this thing looks uh it's just this wrapper coating it's just i don't think i'm gonna paint another car without it again it's just so good it sticks so well pretty minimal overspray as well uh, i'm just so happy with how this car turned out so i hope you guys enjoyed uh if you did please leave a comment down below, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time on Restore to Explore.